sato vritte in combination becomes sato vritte but the actual word is sataha and vritti sat is actually you can say people who are eternal means who are situated in the eternal energy spiritual energy or the acharyas vritti is following in their footsteps so sato vritti following in the footsteps of the previous acharyas shil prabhat says execute the principles given by the previous acharyas mahajano yena gatah supanta so prabhat quotes this words many many times following in the footsteps of the previous acharyas that is the only way we can execute devotion service there are so many philosophies in this world there is so many scriptures in this world there are so many opinions in this world but what do we dedicate our lives for we can only dedicate it to one and that one should be what the maha the mahajanas have stated as the right one so we choose that and we follow so in proper says fill your time with krishna conscious activities by following morning program and various other things shil proper says by this way by following the principles that the acharyas have given then we are actually following the footsteps of uh the devotees previous acharyas bhakti vinod tagore says behavior and lifestyle of a saintly person one follows that uh, by association understands what is the behavior and lifestyle of the saintly persons we also start to take up that bhakti vinod tagore takes sadhu vritti as sadachar means saintly conduct okay and bhakti siddhan sarvas tagore says following in the footsteps of acharyas means following in the footsteps of devotees in life or in death there is while living and in my destination after the life i only follow the devotees i only aspire for the destination that the devotee aspires while living also i aspire for those things which the devotee aspires following in the footsteps in life and death i'll come to explain this also soon more in detail in the next slides follow honest and saintly people he says don't follow anyone and everyone follow honest and saintly people and if you remember in the introduction to these six qualities i said they are all like kind of an alternate positive alternatives to the previous verse so in the previous verse what was the last quality laulyam 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 yes laulyam so we said that laulyam could also mean fickle mindedness not being fixed in one path sometimes gyana sometimes yoga like that if you see this particular quality is an positive alternative to that that means don't go to different places follow in the path of the mahajans fix don't go here don't go there just follow in life or in death follow in the footsteps of the devotees so that is the idea by which we can overcome the fickle mindedness of the mind desiring sometimes some profit and going to different paths rather fixing oneself in the path given by mahajanas following in the footsteps of devotees in life and death so this is our bhakti vinod bhakti siddhan sarasvati thakur explains that and shil prabha says one has to follow in the footsteps of previous authorities in the line of disciplic succession otherwise even the most intelligent men will be bewildered regarding the standard actions of krishna consciousness this is actually a translation of the mahabharata verse tarko pratishto shutayo vibhinna उटलाइ he can or he may he might or he might not end up in the right place so it is better to follow in the footsteps of the uh, mahajanas previous authorities it is a easy path one who is following in the footsteps of the acharya he knows he knows everything he says even if a devotee is not so well versed currently but if he just follows the instructions of the previous acharyas they ask me to chant they ask me not to follow the uh, to like like follow these four regulatory principles i just do it if only that person has that much faith gradually he will come to know everything so following the previous acharyas is the main qualification and proper this is about all about all the qualities it's not just about satovritti enthusiasm patience firm conviction which is nischaya 
following the rules and regulations dealing straight forward that is tatat karma pravartana no duplicity and in association of devotees if you can keep these six principles always in front then your progress in krishna consciousness is sure there is no doubt about it so this is about the whole verse it's not just about satyavrati if we follow these prescriptions of shila rupa goswami prabhupada says our progress in krishna consciousness is sure and these six principles one must be very enthusiastic yes in this life i shall complete my krishna consciousness business i will not wait for the next life this life i shall finish this is called utsaha dharya means patience not that sometimes i do not find that i am making much improvement but still you should have patience and nischaya with confidence because we are following the standard rules and regulations success is sure that confidence must be there just like 2 plus 2 equals to 4 that is a fact similarly if you follow the principles as laid down in the shastras then success is sure